Amen. You want to go to Jerusalem? Amen. Praise God. And he was broke out. Down. What I mean is that each time you go back to it, you go down. Amen. Each time you go back to it, you do what? You, as a place of no covenant with God. Each time you go back to the world and to the things of the world, and most times you think the world is about the life is the life in the world. The Bible says, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt and poured it forth, and officer of Pharaoh come to another girl, and Egyptian brought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down, Peter, verse number two. And the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a prosperous man. My mother's was, and the Lord was with him, and he was what? And he was what? Now, why are people angry when this is prosper? What are they angry? It says, and the Lord was with Joseph, and he was what? And he was a prosperous man. Why, why is the world so angry with the church? Now, if God's church doesn't prosper, who will prosper? And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was what? A prosperous man. So I tell you, oh, that church has so much money. Church didn't have so much money. Say amen. amen. Praise God. Is a function of who is with you, not what you have. You don't just prosperity by what you have. That's what most times that you think because you are not prosperous. You are prosperous. Praise God. Because prosperity is not determined by what you have, but by who is with you. And the Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. And the Say amen. amen. See one of the signs that God is with me. It's for spirit. Say amen. amen. He says, and the Lord was with Joseph. But he was church. And he was what? And he was what? And he was a prosperous man. So it was the Lord being with him that guaranteed of that for due to the spirit. And so when God Chance. Amen. And what the second chance of prosperity. And the Lord was Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, he says. And he was in the house of his father. See what he was. See what he's but prosper. So I'm sorry, man. Say so you can prosper anywhere. Now the fullness of the blessing means that you can prosper where? Anywhere. Where? Anywhere. Say anywhere. anywhere. Say anywhere. He says, and the Lord was with him, and he became a prosperous man, and he was in the house. Verse 3. And his, and, and his master saw that the Lord was with him. Somebody say amen. amen. It says, and his master saw it, that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Verse 4. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he observed set him, and he made him prophecy over his house, and all that he heard. It says, he put in his hand, number 5, and he turned Now it says that because Joseph was in Potiphar's house, and the Bible says that the Lord is with Joseph. Now, on the, on the sign that Joseph was before Christ came, am I correct? Am I correct? And here, here is Joseph in Abrahamic covenant. Praise God, not in the new covenant. Amen. So if Joseph got such blessing in the old covenant, praise God, how much more even in the new covenant? He says, now, God was with Joseph, and he became prosperous, and his master saw it, that this boy is prosperous. He says, he put him in charge of everything. And the Lord says, when he did that, and the Lord blessed the Egyptian. Now, the Egyptian, an Egyptian is only a man without a covenant. Amen, church. Now, God bypassed the covenant to bless a man without 
the covenant because he was in touch with the man with the covenant. So we say amen. amen. Say God by Christ the covenant to bless a man without the covenant. So when you and I that can this covenant enters nations that even though they have no covenant, God becomes obligated to bless that nation. Amen. Praise God, church. And you know, it says the Lord was with him. Now, Isaiah 7 says, The virgin shall conceive and give birth. And like this, in the old book, in the old testament, God is not in them, He's always with them. Can we say amen? And it is in the New Testament that God is in us. Praise God. Praise God, church. Amen. It says, Christ in you. Now, if God was with you, now to be with means, you know, to be with. Am I correct? Now, to be in his word, to indwell in you, praise God. To make rest in you, to make hope in you. So if a man that the Lord was with had such prosperity or commanded such blessing, how much more the man in whose body, in whose life, the Lord indwells? He says, and the Lord was with him. He says, God, be just blessed the Egyptian because of Joseph. He says, God. Upon his chills, upon his everything, everything the Egyptian had, the blessing was in it. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. That's why I believe anything that is connected to you ought to be the extensions of the blessing. Somebody shout it, man. And the Lord blessed the Egyptians because of Joseph, or because of Joseph. And the blessing of the scripture, Lord. And the blessing of the Lord.